Yo, what is going on YouTube? It's your boy Braytone. In today's video, this is going to be a 60 FPS mod guide for The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild on the PC for the Yuzu emulator. But before we get started with the video, please make sure you guys would like, share, and also subscribe if you guys are new to the channel. Without further ado, let's get right into it. Now, everything you guys would basically need for this process to happen will be in the description down below. So basically, um, mod the mod and certain other mods that improve the game performance will be also will be in the description down below. But our main focus is trying to get Zelda, the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild playing 60, 60 FPS on the user emulator. Now, I always need also, I need to make another disclaimer. Now, for this process to be very effective and make it run smoothly as possible, you guys are going to need. A very good PC. What I mean by that, a PC that's up to date with the latest parts, graphics card, a lot of RAM in your PC will be very helpful for this process. If you guys have something like an old graphics card, something like a 1050 or below, or even a 2060, yes, a 2060 probably not going to be this, um, probably not going to be that effective for this guide. If you guys have anything below that, most likely. It may push it to 60 FPS, but you're not going to get the best results you possibly can if you're going to if you have a higher end PC. So do keep that in mind. The higher, the most up to date and higher performance your PC is currently with the latest parts and stuff like that, the better. If you guys don't have that, don't be expecting to be playing 60 FPS off the bat because the sad reality is that's not how it works with emulation in general. So yeah, I always need to keep this disclaimer out in my videos due to the fact that a lot of people recently have been complaining that certain things don't work. And then when I ask them what's wrong and ask them um, what type of PC they have, they have the most outdated low end PC you possibly can find on the internet. And that's why it's not working. So I now I'm, in my videos, I need to make this disclaimer. It's nothing, I'm not trying to be harsh or anything. I'm just keeping it as a reality and telling you guys the facts and how this process basically works when it comes to emulation in general. So yeah, first things when you go to the emulation tab, the thing that we're going to do is basically when we're on our graphics tab, we're going to basically try to put anything when it comes to anything that is resolution or gameplay as very put everything, leave everything on default or try to push it down to the, the lowest settings as possible due to the fact that for your, for your game to push 60 FPS, certain settings can't be maxed out. Settings ha or have to be on default or the lowest settings you possibly can to make this process very effective. So what I mean by that, when you go to the advanced tab, stuff like V-Sync has to be off due to the fact that V-Sync and emulation in general, and even um, when you're playing PC games is known to um, leave games at 30 FPS or even lock it at 30 FPS. So it's best to take off V-Sync for it to push it past that and try to make it go towards more towards the 60 FPS side. And then when you're on here, my on usually on default on Yuzu, when you first boot up Yuzu, it's usually on high, but my suggestion is putting on normal. You can also use high, but like I said, the probably the game probably is not gonna push, um, not gonna push on uh, towards um, 60 FPS as best as it can due to the fact that it's running on um, high settings. So putting on normal is probably the best solution right now. Obviously, leave this on default, and even if you try to use 2x, that means this is this this process is still in beta state. So default currently is the best thing to do right now. The graphics tab using this share of cache, um, GP emulation, all this stuff is good. And I think 16 by 9 by default is good. You can use 4 by 3 also, but you can use default 16 by 9. But if you still feel like you're having problems, you still will have problems with using 16 by 9. My next suggestion is 4 by 3. Um, 21 by 9, I wouldn't suggest that at all. And stretch window, I would not suggest that at all due to the fact that it's it's basically trying to max out your PC. So I wouldn't suggest that at all. 16 by nine and four by three 
is good. And then also it's very important to use OpenGL. Do not do not use Vulkan. I see a lot of people saying that Vulkan is probably better than OpenGL as, a, as I'm recording this video. Um, Vulkan is not, in my opinion, better than OpenGL due to the fact that I feel like Vulkan is still in the beta stage. And yeah, Vulkan works pretty well in certain games, but I feel like OpenGL is kind of the best option at this moment. When it, when it comes to um, API settings, I feel like OpenGL is really good. CPU, auto, is basically the best default setting you possibly can use. System, there's not much. The moment, the main focus is mostly the CPU and the graphics tab in general. Uh, these limit speed uh, CPU emulation, that's usually good. You guys don't need to worry about that too much. And after that, you press OK. Next thing you guys need is obviously the 60 FPS mod. Now this is a different 60, 60 FPS mod compared to other games 60 FPS mod because it makes it run at a static 60 FPS. So this is a custom made 60 FPS mod for Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. And like I said earlier on in the video, there's gonna be other mods you guys can use like the um, the Matic resolution. And I believe 1080 is probably not the, not the best suggestion if you're trying to push games towards 60 FPS because they're gonna be more on the high end on the resolution. All right, so you're gonna open this up. I'm gonna drag and drop this to my desktop. Let me close that out real quick. Minimize this. I'm gonna left click, open mod data location. I'm gonna drag, it, drag and drop it here. Then we're gonna close that out real quick. And then for it to make sure it's on, go to properties. As you see right here, if it's the box, always have to be checked for it to be on. Press OK for that. And the next thing I suggest you guys using, if you have no, no video, which I'm pretty sure 90% of you guys have, I'm going to the control panel and trying to basically mess around with the configuration settings. Now, I'm gonna I'm a breeze through this a little bit, due to the fact that I made dedicated videos explaining how these things work. So obviously you're gonna go with 1050 when you get on this tab. When you're on here, you're gonna use, you're gonna push towards performance more. And after that, you apply it, basically good. And then right here, you use your NVIDIA processor, NVIDIA graphics card. Now, I put this in a certain default that is basically good for the um, emulation in general. What I mean by that, they have um, basically settings that you see on a emulation configuration um, screen. This uh, vertical sync, which is, this is another word for V-sync. I have that off. Triple buffering, which is also a point for emulation that's also off. Um, what else? That's share cache is on. Um, open geo rendering is on auto select. You can change that if you want, but the default auto select is also good. Max frame rate, I turned that off because it's for some reason it's not too effective when it when I try to use it on my PC. Um, image sharpening, which does um, push your um, cancel that out, push your um your PC more on the higher end, I have to turn that off because it it really bugs the performance. Program settings, it's basically the same thing, but it's more on the global settings. Add a video processor, and then we go to add, add the user emulator, select the program, you apply it, Wait that out, and, and then you're good. Then you exit it out. And then after that, when you boot up the game, you should see some improvements on the FPS side. Now, also, I would show gameplay, but as you guys know, with emulation politics, Nintendo love 
taking down videos when it comes when it comes when it with emulation and showing gameplay and i'm one of the top uh, i'll even say top three most targeted channels i would say number one but i don't want to be too over dramatic i'll just say i'm top three more most targeted when it comes to emulation so i can't show gameplay on certain videos and that's the reality of messing around with emulation on youtube so yeah that's basically about it like i said before in the beginning of the video this process will be most for this process to be more very effective you guys need an up-to-date pc that's really good and really strong with the most up-to-date drivers and graphics cards you possibly can get and like i said a lot of gigs of ram is really good for this process so yeah that's basically about it if you guys have any problems let me know in the comment section down below i try to get back to you as soon as possible and basically try to figure out the problem you're basically having so yeah that's basically about it leave a like share also subscribe if you guys are new to the channel and yeah guys this is your boy Brayton. see you guys in the next video peace out